it only takes one product. It only, mm-hmm. it only takes finding one product to like change your entire life. One product usually carries the entire business. Nice. And so really, if Everbee just helps you find one product that creates $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, it, it pays for itself for the next 10 Absolutely. years. Everybody, I'm here with Cody from Everbee. How are you doing, Cody? Do you know what's up, man? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, good, good. So good to have you on. Um, I've, I've done interviews with Steven and we saw Everbee a little bit, but it's great to have you on to show us more of what Everbee can do. This Happy to awesome. be here. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Steven's awesome. And yeah, seriously, Juna, thank you for, for having me on to speak with your uh-huh. audience. You're building yeah, an amazing right. community over here. So I'm happy to be here. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I just want to help out the people. I know Everbee can really help people this Q4. Um, we're going to show a little bit in this, this interview how it works. Uh, but before then, for those that don't know you, I'm going to read a little bio of you mm-hmm. that I got here. And so people can get to know you just a little bit better, a little faster. Uh, Cody McGuffey is the founder of Everbee IO, the all-in-one business platform for Etsy sellers, helping over 250,000 sellers sell more online. He's an e-commerce seller that has sold well over a million dollars worth of sales through various platforms such as Amazon, Walmart, Shopify, and Etsy. Cody escaped the corporate rat race using his e-commerce, and he's on a mission to help others do the same. He's also a proud husband and father of two little ones. Cody McGuffey, thanks for being on the channel. Thank you, man. I I appreciate that for sure. Happy to be here. Seriously, um, I think that we're in a very exciting time, uh, 2023, especially with print on demand, with e-commerce. And I know you talk about this stuff all the time, but it's like the opportunity of a lifetime. If we don't take advantage of this as a, I guess, as an entrepreneur or as an aspiring entrepreneur, like we're missing out on like the revolution or, or, or a a critical piece in history. Yeah. Yeah, It just keeps growing and growing and so much, so much opportunity. I know I do a lot of uh, stuff on print on demand on, on Amazon and you're helping a lot on Etsy. I did a poll recently with my um, followers and I'll, you know, at least 30, 40% of them are doing on Etsy. So I think this tool that you have right here is Everbee tool is going to help those people as well as people outside of Etsy. We're going to show how you can use it for both. But I think if you're on Etsy already, this tool is going to help you like grow your business and get more sales through uh, Q4 and and beyond, but especially for Q4, because this is where most of the money is made for, uh, for print on demand. Right. So um, before we show Everbee, I think I, I'm going to ask you a few questions just to get to know Everbee just a little bit so people can know. And these are some of the questions I think people would ask. So hopefully you can oh. answer them and we'll, we'll go from there. Just a few questions and then go into the Everbee um, tutorial. Is that cool? Sounds great. Let's do it. All right. First question. Uh, how did Everbee get started? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, Everbee got started about two years ago. A little over that, I think. And really, we were selling at the time we were selling, I, I was working a full time job, uh, selling on Amazon FBA at the same time, and then on Shopify on Walmart, kind of doing that like side hustle type of thing, trying to figure mm-hmm. out how to like get out of this like corporate rat race type of thing. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. yeah, so essentially, we ended up, uh, you know, having finding success on Amazon FBA, finding success on Shopify, and then eventually finding success on Etsy. And that's where it really kind of took off. But the thing is about Etsy is we were trying to repeat like our product launches and trying to constantly try to get better using data. And I came from the Amazon world where Jungle Scout was existing, Mm -hmm. 10 existed. And I was looking for like comparable, you you know, tools like that for Etsy, but they just didn't exist. There was some stuff for keyword research, which is great. But really, I wanted to like reverse engineer success on the platform. So I started building a spreadsheet. Of, of products and started tracking them by just looking at the reviews and trying to look at like all the data that we did have on the, you know, publicly available on Etsy. And I was just tracking products that way. Uh, at that same time, I was working at tech. That was my full-time job was in tech, at tech companies. And I knew that I wanted to be in software uh, for my business in the future. So that, that was becoming very, very clear, but I just didn't really know what that product was going to be. I loved selling online products, physical products online. Uh, however, like I knew that I wanted to be in software at the end of the day because I was just passionate about that type of business, just maybe because of my corporate background. Um, so anyway, we launched multiple products uh, trying to just build stuff, not only on Etsy and Shopify and all this other stuff, but also like 
software products as well. And nothing really kind of like stuck with me that really, really was passionate about and it really worked. Uh, but then I had this like spreadsheet that we were using to track products and I'm like eventually looked at it and it wasn't like a night and day thing, but it was like eventually I started coming on more and more of, I think this is the project. This mm -hmm. is the project that we're going to be building. And so at that point we decided, I think it was December, 2020 actually, uh, that we were just like, I think we're going to build this. And then we go into the first version, build the first version, which takes, you know, four to six months. And the first version is terrible, you know, absolutely. <laughs> uh, but it was cool. We got some great feedback. And at the end of the day, it was, we saw we were, we were actually helping people make good decisions for their Etsy business and for their mm -hmm. online business. And that's when it was like, it really sparked with me was, oh, wow, this isn't just like a cool project. This is actually helping, you know, her over there with her business. And she has made X amount more sales because using Everbee, this is impactful also. And that's where it got really, really fun. And now today, fast forward, I mean, we have over 250,000 sellers that use Everbee wow. every day and we're growing. We're, we'll, we'll reach a million, you know, very soon. And our, our whole mission is to empower that aspiring entrepreneur that wants to grow, start and grow their business online. And so whether, however we do that, right. But that, that is the mission. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. What a cool story too, because you were already using it. So you made something kind of for you. And then it helped so many people. And now two years later. It's exactly. Cool, I was man. thinking about that. I was like, well, it, worst case, yeah. this thing, nobody cares about this thing. I get to use it. And yeah. our Etsy business will just thrive from it, uh, which, yeah. which wasn't the main goal. Right. Uh, the main goal was to be useful for others. But that was like a nice, like, well, worst case. And yeah. And you're your own tester kind of thing, right? Like if it worked for you, it could work for everybody else. So like you, you knew how it would work. And I, I love that kind of story, right? Because you, you are the, the first person to use it and then. For like sure. You're testing it. And like, so that's cool, man. That's so awesome. What a cool story. Um, you. you probably get this question a lot. Uh, I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, how did you come up with the name Everbee? <laughs> that's a funny question. Um, <laughs> I think anybody that's like any entrepreneur that has started a company, like they've gone through this process or started an Etsy shop or, or shop on Amazon or Redbubble, like you have to pick a name. Um, mm -hmm. So now it's like, how do you pick the name? And usually my, we, I've done it. Fortunately, dozens of times now where we've tried to pick a name for a company or for a, yeah, for a, uh, a side hustle. And I definitely wanted something easy to say, easy to spell. So mm -hmm. like first criteria, it needs to happen like that, of course. Um, but I wanted to have it have more impact than that, like more value, like, like long lasting value. Uh -huh. And I think at the time we had our, we had our son, I've always been, if you ask my wife, like I always love talking about bees or oh, thinking cool. about bees. Okay. And where it's like where bees are like honeybees are kind of flying around and we're just like, no, don't hurt the bees. Right. Kind of thing. Like where like these things are making impact to our community, to our Not environment, sure. literally every day. Mm -hmm. And they don't actually want to hurt us. They actually are helping us as a human race or human species. So I guess I kind of just was thinking about bees and how they've been here for so long. They're super resilient and they're contributing to us so much and they've done it for like a very very long time and then of course we want to be long lasting so that's where we kind of merged it of everybody and we were trying out that name with nice. a couple other ones and eventually it was like i like that and i kind of yeah. floated it by my wife floated it by my mother-in-law my my mom stuff like that too i'm like hey does this make sense and they were just like it's easy to say easy to spell let's go yeah I like that. And I like how you, it's really related to you. And I like the kind of helping aspect, like the bees are helping and everybody's helping the community. So it's, yeah, I love the tie in. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, okay. Um, I noticed on your website that, that there is a free plan, right? To try out um, Everbee. Tell, tell us more about the free plan for those. Um, just wanted to look at it, see how it works. Yeah. I mean, uh, making a decision to like purchase anything is, it, you know, there's, there's a lot involved there, but at the end of the day, like we just wanted to make it free to start with, um, to make kind of that decision to get rid of that decision at all. So we have a, a thing called, uh, our free plan is called hobby plan. Okay. And it's for that person. That's like, not really sure if, if selling online is for them, but they do want to kind of like, they hear about this, this ever be thing and they want to check it out and like, see if it makes sense for them. Mm -hmm. That's perfect for them. Uh, it's free forever. So they get a certain amount of searches every single month, oh, wow. certain, certain amount of free analytics forever. forever. Cool. Yeah. It's not like a free trial or anything like that. Um, and yeah, the idea is that if they see value at it, then they'll upgrade because it'll be very, very clear. But if mm -hmm. they don't see value in it, then they won't and they don't have to. 
uh, yeah. that's that's totally what it's about for us. It's not trying to lock anybody into anything long term. We want to only provide something if it has value to you and your business. So that's wow. what that's what the free plan is for. Wow, what a cool guarantee! That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, okay, the last question before we see this. Now, um, I know you built this for Etsy, and it's great for Etsy. But can, do you think it can be used for people that are, aren't selling on Etsy? You mean for Amazon, Redbubble, those, those kinds of things? Talk, talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. The answer is the short answer is yes, for sure. Uh, a lot of times these marketplaces, they have a lot of crossover with buyers. Mm -hmm. And so people not, not, they don't only sort, they don't only buy on Etsy. They also buy on Amazon, right? Yeah, that's true. And they also buy probably on Redbubble too. And so there's a lot of the same buyers kind of crossing different platforms, depending on what they're looking for. Uh, so typically trends, they're kind of moved together as the, mar you know, with the market. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, yes, absolutely. There are sellers that, do product research on Etsy and find these products on Etsy and they go and they say, Oh, if it does well on Etsy, imagine that they do on Amazon because typically Amazon typically gets more search volume and more buyer demand on Amazon mm -hmm. just because of the nature of, of, of how big they are. Right. Uh, Redbubble, I'm not so, so familiar with, but I imagine it's probably really similar. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is that if something is trending on one platform, there's a solid, solid chance that it's going to be trending on the other platform as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, or if it's not trending yet, it probably will be. And so there's a lot of opportunity when you look at different platforms and doing research and taking it over to the other one. Nice. Nice. Okay. That's a great segue then. So let's do, let's think about like Q4, right? Uh, okay. Some of the big holidays, um, obviously, are Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas um, in Q4, which is why we get so many, so many sales. So let's try it, try it out. Let's, um, I want, I would like to see how Everbee can help us with that. Let's say, uh, any one of those um let's see okay. how it would work is that cool cool yeah let's do it okay uh i, I know you have something set up here I'll, I'll have the screen here maybe put us here so we can see it a little bit and i can go back and forth and show the full screen and Perfect. maybe talk us through what we're seeing first and how this works here awesome so there's two ways to use everbee um if you're an etsy seller like if you're on etsy all the time then uh -huh. we have a chrome extension that's probably the best best experience oh, cool. all you have to do is install it it's like it sits right on top of your etsy and you can use it literally. It's like your your right hand man. Uh, it's it's there all the time for you. Um, for the people that aren't selling on Etsy, you could you could also use the Chrome extension, of course, as well on Etsy. But uh, we also have a, a web app, right? Where it's oh, nice. app.io. It's all tied together. It's all the same thing. It's just different, in, you know, interface. Smart. Yep. So um, I'm starting here. Uh, you connect your shop if you want. Um, if you have an Etsy shop, if you don't, you could still still use Everbee. It's not required to connect your shop. Okay. And then go into the research tools, and then we have product analytics. Okay. So product analytics is like our listing database. This is where you do like all the product research that you could possibly want for Etsy. Uh, again, and you kind of keep that Etsy. You, we're doing research on Etsy, but we have to keep that hat on of like, I wonder if somebody would buy this on Redbubble. I wonder if somebody <laughs> would buy this on Amazon or mm -hmm. my Shopify website or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really kind of looking high level at the moment. So here in product analytics. You mentioned Q4, so we'll talk about, when I think of Q4, we think about Halloween, yes. Thanksgiving, and mm -hmm. and Christmas, probably, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then specifically for print on demand, we typically, that's a big category, but we, we typically think about shirts, right? Yes, yeah, especially my group. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> my followers, yeah. We'll okay, cool. So let's, yeah, let's stick with shirts then. Um, so all I would do, first of all, there's, we have 38 million, over 38 whoa, million whoa, of these whoa. things okay. in our database that nice. we are analyzing for in a matter of a second. Yeah, that's crazy that it goes so fast. And it's growing. Uh, our yeah. database is where we're continuing to grow our database because we want people to be able to have access to all the data like in a matter of a, of a click. So wow. let's go ahead and start. Halloween. Okay. All right. You want to start with shirts? T-shirts? Yeah, let's do T-shirts. Yeah. We can do other products, but let's do T-shirts first. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and click on, type in Halloween T-shirt. Click. Ever be nice. Wow, that yeah. was fast. Totally. And we have 319,000 yeah. search results okay. um, coming for this Halloween t-shirt. And these are all Etsy listings, by the way. Nice. So yeah. is that like the tag people, people are doing Halloween t-shirt as a tag in Etsy? Is that how you're finding it? Not or? always, actually. We, wow. we use like a, our algorithm pulls wow. from the title, all the, also the tag, also maybe the description wow. as well. So we can pull so cool. all of that. So somebody can actually be pulling up in here, even though they don't use the tag Halloween t-shirt. Nice. Okay. So the cool thing about it is we built it in a way that it's sorted by monthly revenue automatically. Mm -hmm. 
So here, like all these listings, these 319,000 listings are sorted by monthly revenue. So we're seeing top to bottom now, which ones are the best selling products on Etsy today. Wow. So very okay. cool. Yeah. So next, next step is what I do is I just try, I, I kind of hover over this to make sure that the search is relevant. You know, mm -hmm. I'm getting a proper uh, products mm -hmm. and I see monster. Okay. That makes sense. It's Halloween mm -hmm. pumpkins, dancing, Halloween, mm -hmm. looks like coffee, hot dancing or co coffee here. Yeah. Halloween coffee food. Yeah. Very, very relevant, right? Yeah, so now, yeah. now I just drill into, okay, well, obviously this thing looks like it's selling well. Let's yeah, look let's at do it. that one. Yes. Okay. So That's the one I was interested in too. <laughs> okay, cool. Because it's very generic. We can do, you know, pumpkin dancing. I mean, skeletons with pumpkin heads dancing kind of thing. So, Absolutely. And so first thing that catches my eye, it's $18,000 uh, $18, in monthly revenue. That's wow. exciting. Exciting. That is, yeah. Uh, monthly. Next, monthly. Monthly. That's crazy. And next thing catches my eye, it's listing age is three months old. Oh, new. This is a new trend. This is a trending product. I mean, this is yeah. no question. Like this hasn't been around for 24 months or 36 months. Like, this thing's three months old and things are okay. already doing 18,000 a month in revenue. Very okay. cool. Uh, conversion rate, 1.39%. As a seller, I'm always thinking about how can, how can I improve listings? So I'm like, I wonder if, if they're missing something or I can add value to this thing somehow by improving the conversion rate, maybe, okay. maybe by offering a so bundle. So you want that higher, right? If it's low, you, I mean, typically you want that higher, the yeah, higher conversion rates better. I mean, based on my data that I've seen, like 2% conversion rate is, is the standard for Everbee. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. for Etsy. Uh, probably across Shopify, across Amazon, probably a lot of those, a lot of those things as well. So you're um, saying if it's under two, then there's a, there's op kind of weak opportunity. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, maybe it's a pricing opportunity. Maybe it's a free shipping opportunity. Maybe it's mm -hmm. a, hey, maybe like they like they liked it as a design, but they wish it was personalized, right? And that'd be Ooh, crazy. Nice. Um, so yeah. there's lots of stuff you can kind of play in here. But the point is here is that this is solid data that this is not Etsy specific, these dancing heads. Right. Like this can be transferred to any platform because yes. everyone in the US is looking at Halloween right now. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. They're looking it up on their platform of choice, Etsy, Amazon, Redbubble, anything. Yeah. Cool, man. That's really cool. For sure. And then you go down here and you can see which which tags they're using to actually drive their SEO. Okay. So Halloween t-shirt, uh, fall, fall sweatshirt, Halloween shirt. Oh, fall nice. Shirt. So other ideas of what could we could do too. So if people are looking for those, maybe we want to do a fall sweatshirt. Maybe we want to do a... Or, or search on those too and see what comes up, right? Yep, exactly. You could drill down further. You can copy this here. You could throw it in the search results again. And now okay. you can further drill down and get product ideas okay. that are in demand. Um, and the search volume is good for this. 4,200 searches a month. Yes. Competition is, I don't want to say it's 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 obviously high because it's a, it's a uh, in demand, you know, yeah. ad. Yeah, yeah. However, happy. considering the volume to the competition, the keyword score is 10 is usually uh, oh, that's, nice. that's actually not too bad. Um, Tell me about that keyword score. What does that mean? Yeah, so our keyword score is basically this ratio from volume to competition. We have our own little algorithm, but essentially the it's how the volume compares to to the competition. And a high number is better. High, high number of keyword score is better. Okay. Okay. It means there's more opportunity. How about that? Yeah. That's yeah. Better yeah. Better. Yep. So this one here, there's 3,800 searches a month on average, but only 197,000 competitor competing list competitive listings for this specific keyword. This one is technically higher opportunity than this one. Oh, I see. Yeah, it makes sense because pumpkin is kind of a niche down from Halloween, right? It's a little more. Yep. Um, yeah. So. Totally, cool. and it kind of it kind of helps us to rather than just going after the high search volume because that's a lot of. That's what most sellers do is they're like, oh, look at the search volume is mm -hmm. 4,000 searches a month. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but you're also <laughs> competing with over a million listings. Um, yeah. So use this, yes, because it's relevant, but also consider using this one, pumpkin sweatshirt yeah. also. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is really cool. All right. All right. Let's do, let's do another one. Let's do another do one. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving, you think? Yeah. Thanksgiving's cool. And do t-shirt as well? Um. Yeah, let's do t-shirt. Let's try yeah. it. If most people are listening to this as t-shirt sellers, let's let's keep it the t-shirt. Yeah, fun. and let's try and see if we can niche down because I know Thanksgiving, so maybe we do like a if we find something that's even better, like you know maybe it's a turkey or maybe it's a I don't know what it would be. Oh, nice. <laughs> we'll we'll yep. find out right with the with the app. Yep. So here's some pumpkins here. 
pumpkins, more small yeah. pumpkins, a little ghost again. So Halloween is going to be kind of encroaching a little bit of this stuff. Pumpkins football, or uh, football Thanksgiving. Yeah, of course, that's a good one. So right away, I'm, I'm noticing the revenue is different, right? If you notice the monthly revenue. Oh, yeah. Halloween was bigger, right? Halloween was bigger. Yep. Yeah. So maybe that, that's a good point. So maybe you focus on Halloween over Thanksgiving. Is that that's kind of what it's saying? Right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's yeah. the data is suggesting that for sure. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Can we try just Christmas? Yep. Let's do it. Let's see which which one. And it's kind of early for Christmas too, and we're closer to Halloween, so that could have some relevance, right? It does. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, however, like, not bad. So thirty three thousand a month. Okay, some of these things are digital, so it looks like people are kind of getting digital digital in here. Matching. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a cool matching. idea. Yeah, you gotta think you gotta think family stuff when you do Christmas, like matching pajamas or something. Yeah, exactly. So this one. Oh, there's some customizable stuff. And was yeah. that a name? Customized Christmas. So we could use can we go up one more? This one. Yeah. I mean that's that's specific, but we can see that. Christmas, they're customizable Christmas t-shirts too. Like mm. when, when I was talking to Steven, we could use something like uh, Hello Hello Custom, right? And Absolutely. Do, do some customizable Yes, yeah, pers personalized yeah. shirts, exactly. I mean, personalized shirts, yeah. Personalization is like, is the future, right? It's, uh, uh -huh. it's the now and the future of print on demand. It's the one way to separate yourself, you know, amongst all of the, the competition. And look at the conversion rate, by the way, on this. Custom oh, yeah. Name, six yeah, nine. a lot higher. Makes sense. I mean, it's personalized. Like, it's very unique. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to buy this one if I'm comparing it to another one that just says Christmas on it. You know? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Man, Everby and uh, Hello Custom just work so well together. It's so amazing. Okay. Um, all right. This is cool, man. Uh, let's see. Man, I, I got so many. What Can we just look at? So this is product. Talk to us about some of those other. I, I know we don't have time to go through all of it, but what's What's another one, another research tool that you use? I, I noticed on the left here, you have product mm. analytics, shop analyzer, keyword oh, research okay. on the left. Yeah. So if you're an Etsy seller specifically, shop analyzer will be your friend because you could drill into a specific shop. Um, oh, okay. So you could actually understand, let's say this one here. I've never seen this shop. Um, but if you wanted to actually analyze this entire shop, you you could and actually understand what is their best selling products inside their oh, shop wow. sort by revenue, just like that. Oh, that's what, yeah. Stephen was showing that with his uh, ornaments one. Very popular strategy for a lot yeah. of sellers. Uh, what okay. they do is they just, they target, uh, you know, 10, 20 of like the best selling shops inside of their product category. Yes, that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then they so just do, do the shop analyzer. Exactly. Yeah. You could do it with t-shirts. Wow. So powerful. So data is 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 the key man um i mean you if you're not making decisions in your business based on data at least to validate certain things like you were yeah. just guessing you're shooting in the dark because yes, exactly because <laughs> you're, com you're competing against everybody else that's using data now yeah I, I get that so often too i get so many questions i put 100 designs up on wherever and i'm not getting sales i'm like uh did you do any research no i just put up random stuff like well <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. Exactly. So, so if you want to understand um, what people are searching for on Etsy, yeah. you can do that here with our keyword research tool. Um, you can oh, type nice. in any keyword, Chris Mitchell, oh, wow. and we'll give you, you know, all the list of keywords that are popping up for Chris nice. Mitchell. The search volume, the competition. And the keyword score again. Yep. I like that. Absolutely. Yeah, so you could drill down and try elf t-shirt or, or something like that, right? Exactly. Like, yep. Maybe Christmas is too broad. You come down. No sweatshirt. No shirt. Oh, then see higher. Yeah. So four four or two volume, not like a lot yet, but not maybe it's lot, a, maybe it's early. It's October right now, so that might. That's change. true too. So we should we should focus on maybe Halloween or Thanksgiving for right now. But exactly. Yeah. So very very exciting, man. Um, I think the yeah. key is to embrace data yeah. as as a friend, as like. It's, it's a necessary thing to be making decisions off of in our business. And if you, if you do adopt this skill of like looking at numbers and basing your decisions based off numbers, uh -huh. you're going to separate yourself from like 99% of the other sellers on any platform. Okay. Be because 
I, it's not intuitive to go and look at the data and look at the numbers and make, make decisions. Like typically we make decisions to, to launch a product. So uh, we, we get hear from our sister or our brother or our mom mm-hmm. and they're just like, Hey, you should make this. This would be fun. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's do it. And then like, you don't get any sales mm-hmm. and then we're disappointed. Yeah. And then you eventually want to give up on your journey. And yeah. uh, anyway, so that, it's fun, man. It's, it's yeah. really, really cool. This is cool. This is really cool. Thanks so much for sharing that. And so after this, so now you get the data and stuff. And so if you're if you're on um, Redbubble or Amazon, you just you create the design and put it up there. If you're on Etsy, then you'd have to go and create design and then go find like a, a Printify, right? And, and exactly. Put it on some some products there. Absolutely. If you're selling shirts, if you're selling print on demand, um, Printify is an awesome tool for this. Like, so if you see something on Everbee that says, you know, hey, that shirt here is doing, you know, twenty thousand dollars a month. Yeah. And the shirt doesn't look like, well, first of all, I guess you could, the next question is, how do I find the shirt? How do I sell the shirt? You know, I I can make a design like this. I could, I could do cool designs. You could do Canva for that or Photoshop or whatever your skill is there, but then you need the actual, you need to put it on the shirt. Yeah. Product to, to fulfill this thing and get it to your customers. Because the last thing that the print on demand people want to do myself included is <laughs> have a printing press in my garage and print yeah, it on my that's shirt. Tough. That's tough. Yeah. So uh, Printify is an awesome tool for this. They do an excellent job of having a, a good catalog and they're a solid partner now. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And I love how it all works together. Like you, we talked to Steven and he, he does the ever be research like you just showed. And then he does his little custom stuff and he puts it on and uses Printify and then fulfills. He, he showed ornaments, but I'm sure you can do the same thing with T-shirts and, and, and other products. You got a ton of products there on, on Printify. So, um, yeah, that'd be cool. Well, uh, we saw the whole thing. And what's really cool about it is that you can go and try this and watch this video. And and all those things that you showed, they could just try it on the free trial too, right? Pretty much, yeah. It's yeah. Free. Most of the data points are, are available if, if you're on the hobby plan. Some yeah. of them, I've, I was sharing some things that probably be available on the growth plan. But okay. at the end of the day, you should get enough value to... To uh, know how it's working and then... To make some decisions make based some on decisions. the hobby plan. Yeah, yeah. if you really want to like kill it for Q3, Q4 and make some good money. I mean, the hobby plan is great for like onesie, twosie, and then, you know... I try this. Oh, I got some sales. And then you're like, okay, now I want to scale this thing. Right. So that's when you go. It's for the, for the people yeah. that are like, okay, this is my thing. I'm trying to like yeah. quit my job or yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit my job. And like, I'm trying to like make this thing my, my life. Um, yeah. that's, that's really who we're really serving. Uh, yeah. the hobby plan is there for people that are like, not really sure if they're going to quite yeah. want to commit to that. Um, but the thing about it is it's not just ever be, it's actually a lot of tools is, but I'll speak for ever be is sure. It only takes one product. It only, mm-hmm. it only takes finding one product to like change your entire life. Absolutely. Like I, most shops that are really successful is the 80, 20 rule is so true. Meaning 80% of their revenue comes from like less than 20% of their actual products and their listings on Redbubble, Etsy, Amazon, all this stuff. One product usually carries the entire business. Nice. And so really if Everbee just helps you find one product that creates $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, it, it pays for itself for the next Absolutely. 10 years, you know, mm-hmm. uh, or 20 years. So <laughs> that's, that's the goal here is just like, we're trying to change lives, um, not just be like a useful little fun tool. Like we're trying to actually make an impact to someone's business and their community and their family. Nice. Yeah. And if you, if you find that with, with ever be, it worked, like do it over and over again and then like, it's going to keep working. So yep. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, Cody. This has been great. I'm glad that you got to show, we got to see a little bit more how it, how it works and, and how useful it is for Q4 and for Etsy and for people outside of Etsy too. I think it, it really worked. You got the tool that can work, you know, on its own too. So, and like you said, the things that are trending on Etsy are most likely trending on some of the other, other ones too. So I think this is a really, really helpful tool, um, whether you're on Etsy or not on Etsy. So. Hundred percent, cool. man. I'm happy you have me on. Um, yeah. I, I'm happy to be on here too because I know that you're you're doing a great job of like educating your community and people people watch your videos because they get value out of your videos. And so I, I'm inspired by you. So thank you for having uh, me on. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and I, I really wanted to help out the the people. Like I like I said, I did a survey and 30, 40 percent of the my followers are actually on Etsy, and I, I don't personally do Etsy content. So I wanted to have the people that know what they're talking about, like you and and Stephen, and probably have some others on, but. Um, you guys know exactly how this works and you you're the founder of it and you used it for yourself and it works. So this, this is great. 
So, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for so sure. I, I think like um, last note on that is, yeah. you know, every skill, every platform, let's say you're Red Bubble, Red Bubble seller or an Amazon seller or Etsy seller. The cool thing about it is as soon as you kind of master one or figure out one, it's mm-hmm. really easy to move to the other one and succeed. That's true. Because the fundamentals of success are they're the fundamentals. They're they're yeah. pretty much the same. You just have to learn the how and the mm-hmm. little nuances of each platform. But overall, like if you're starting on Etsy, then great. You could easily you could probably pretty quickly move to Amazon. If you're on Amazon, you can vice versa move. Um and, and the cool thing about it, you don't have to choose. You can mm-hmm. do both for a while mm-hmm. and figure out which one you like best and which one makes mm-hmm. sense for you and your business. So that is a great note to end on. So I'm going to end with that. Um, thanks so much, Cody, for being on. Uh, thanks for, for doing this and helping out a lot of people, not only with Everbee, but on, on this channel too. And this, this is so cool. Thanks. Thanks for being thanks, on. Thanks, you. Yeah. See you, man. Bye.